It's not a teammate's you. you. Guys are a mother. Mother. I found one enemy, but you guys are your mothers. Bruh, Hello, guys, and welcome to a new video. And in today's video, I'll be showcasing the new man of war attachment, the thermite ammo. And we'll be answering the main question here, which is whether this attachment is actually good or not, and whether it makes the man of war a new meta or not. And after that, we'll watch a gameplay showcasing the thermite ammo in action. But feel free to skip to the gameplay at the time shown on the screen. So first of all, you need to obtain this attachment by finishing some tasks. Just head over to the events, seasonal events, and it's the first one right here. So you need to finish the first four missions only to get the new attachment. Now there isn't really much to say about the thermite ammo, all you need to know that it has few downsides. Mainly you get less mag size, less bullet speed, and you can't shoot through walls. As for the way it works, first of all, each bullet you fire deals an initial bullet damage depending on the range. So at the first range it deals 10 damage and then followed by the thermite damage which is a total of 52 damage. Something I noticed that the thermite damage isn't always the same. I'm not really sure why, if you have an idea then let me know down in the comments in case I'm missing something. As for the main question we need to answer here, does this attachment make the man of war meta or not? And to answer this question, I'll compare it to the current meta assault rifle, the AK-117. So right here, you can see the killing times against an enemy with 250 HP at 20 meters range. And just to be clear, the man of war killing times are not 100% accurate, but they're accurate enough to give you an idea. So you can clearly see that the AK-117 kills a lot faster. But faster killing time doesn't necessarily mean better gun. So we'll watch the gameplay together so you guys can decide if it's good. And in the end, I'll share my overall opinion on this loadout after using it for a few days. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. Shotgun here. Oh. Level one. Return to the battle. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tag. Help him return to the battle. Get the dog tag. Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Dog tag has been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when the next revive might arrive. Just when I thought that we cleared Black Market, another squad decides to push us. And we welcome them with open arms. Squad, squad. Show your trip. If you saw my last video, I told you guys about the truck trend where some squads land in sanitarium, then they would always push black market using the truck. Well, here it is again. Now I can say that we're finally done cleaning black market and now it was time to get the objectives. So I upgraded and I went straight to the loadout to get the man of war. Reloading, 
طيب اصبر اصبر انا ادري انك انت بالطياره خلنا نفجرها و مره ثانيه اثنين اثنين بالي ها طيب مين موت طيب طيب شكل الحمد لله <laughs> this is a glitch that I've noticed by the way. Sometimes it doesn't show the thermite damage numbers, it only shows the bullet damage itself. And sometimes it shows it in a different spot. But don't worry, the damage registers normally. It's just a visual glitch. <laughs> I can't run out of it. The safe zone is collapsed. Down to the last one. Oh, he's stuck over here. I'm not leaving. I'm not. The last revived flight will arrive in one minute. I know I was busy with another enemy, but still, this knock on me right here shows that this attachment isn't very effective. If I had another gun like the AK-117, I would have easily melted him down before he even fires his SMR. Because with the thermite ammo, the base damage of the gun is very low, and the thermite damage takes time to register, which results in slower killing time. And that was enough time for the enemy to aim and fire his SMR. So to finish this video, I'm gonna share my final opinion. I think this attachment can be good in MP, but in BR, I don't think it's worth it. You can use it for fun, but if you want to go for the win, then you wanna go for the AK-117. Right now, it's the best assault rifle, and for me, hands down the best and the most broken gun in the game. However, there is one thing I noticed about the Man of War in general. It became a lot easier to control, so that's something to look for. Okay, enough talking. I hope this video answered your questions about the new attachment, and if you find it useful, then kindly leave a like on your way out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Reloading. Reloading.